my crafty peeps. It's Liz from Zaneline Crafted, and how is everybody today? Um, today, we are going to be making some belly bands, and I am using cut-up mailers. These are like direct mailers and junk stuff that I just cut down. So, things that you would normally, like, throw away. <laughs> Um, I just cut them up and use them for things. Uh, these are the uh, backings for uh, the packaging for stamps or uh, what do you call them? Stickers that come in uh, the packagings. Um, you could also use just a piece of cardstock, but um, if you've never made a belly band or if you've don't know have you don't have any idea what i'm talking about uh, let me show you a few that i've made in the past and this is i'm going to show you um this is like the first journal i ever made um it did lace exposed uh spine with a lace detail it's fabric covered kind of plain um she is a true gator mouth she's <laughs> she's huge huge there's like something on every single page um i had no idea what i was doing when i uh, started this one um but she has just um all kinds of stuff in it and maybe one day i'll go through this with you just to walk through um she has two signatures, which are ginormous. And as far as belly bands go, let me see if I can find one here. Oh, there we go. I marked it so I wouldn't lose it. Okay, so belly bands, um, basically they can they can be a whole whole page. Um, this one just happened. I put it across a flip out. And this little card comes out, and that's the the band right there that you can just tuck stuff under. Um, then it holds it in place. And this one was just simple with a scrap that I had with a, a little paper flower stuck to it. And then another one that I did, this is a double one. Um, this one has, oh, this is an unwieldy book. Um, let me see if I can put something under here. This side to help me. There we go, okay. So this is, I just made a little cluster and put on this. This is a double belly band. Um, the underside is just holding a piece of coloring paper. It's blank on the other side for writing. And it just tucks under and it's on a page of um, copied music paper. And then these are just made little journal tags to go under this one and put little jewels on them so that they it would stop from going all the way through. But again, there's paper on the back. You can journal on it. This one the same. So this is just a double belly band. And then I'm sure I've got some more in here somewhere, but, um, oh yeah, here's one that's just simple, pretty. Um, this was part of a paper kit, a, a paper packet that I got. Um, and I thought it made a really pretty belly band with just a little cut out piece of the the scrapbooking paper that came with it, cardstock, um, and put a little leaf sticker on there as well. So that's a belly band, and um, they don't have to be up and down on your page. I do have one back here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, here it is, this one. It's actually a double across the page. And it's just holding a folded piece of coffee dyed paper that I folded 
and then paper clipped um, so that you can pull it out and it just slips in like so. All right, so let me just put this aside. But yeah, this is this is like the first one that I made. It's huge, I know. And one of these days we'll we'll go through that together. So again, today I have my protective mat down because we are going to be gluing. I've got some scraps and things over here that I might be using. Um, my bone folder. I've got my glue stick. This is my favorite glue stick. Um, I use other ones too, but I just love this one because it it just it's permanent. It sticks. It's easy to use. It has a big surface area. Love it. So, all right. So let's just start with one of these and. So this is just a some kind of mailer that we got and let's see what we've got to cover it. Basically you just need to worry about the front. The back's going to be glued down so you don't need to worry about that part. Um, you just need something that's long enough to cover it. So, oh, here's a piece of, oh my, okay. Got all kinds of things going on here today. How about, is that big enough? This is a six by six piece of scrap paper. All right, so these tend to be a six by six, maybe a little bit longer. Um, if you make them longer, you can cut them to fit. Um, I like them about this size. You can tuck just about anything in. So let's go ahead and let's glue this down. And you just need to put a little glue on here and stick it down. And then we're going to put some glue on either edge. I don't know about you guys, but it's cold here in Utah today. And then I am going to use the edge of the paper to make its own fold and just kind of squash that down. And then I'm going to grab, oh, and of course, my scissors are gone. <laughs> happens. Lost my scissors. Oh, there's some. Ugh, got them. Okay. So we don't need all of this. So I'm just going to trim some of this, trim some of this off here. Throw it back over there. And then this one, we are just going to squash down there. And you can tack this down if you want. There we go. Now, you can leave it plain like this. And if your paper happens to be taller than the piece that you're um, working with, um, you can just trim it off right there at the, at the top, okay? Um, but I don't think that we need to um, trim it off right now. And let's see here. Let me grab... Let me grab a, a few extra things. Uh, give me just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 